Chris Brown is officially en route to Washington, D.C., and we've just learned that when Con Air lands, he could face the possibility of real jail time for the alleged D.C. assault. Prosecutors just filed legal documents that claim the reason they took the case to a grand jury is because they have the evidence to support a felony prosecution. Chris is currently only being charged with misdemeanor assault. His lawyer has filed legal documents asking that the case be dismissed on the grounds that the prosecutors misused the grand jury system by attempting to perform a dry run of the trial. The prosecutors are now firing back, stating that injuries were serious enough to require hospitalization. If this is true, it could justify a felony. Justin Bieber didn't have a very good time in Miami. Sources say his crew tried to reserve a table at three different clubs. All three clubs, Liv, Story, and Adore denied him access. Apparently, Justin begged to get in, promising to drop some major money if they let him in. But all three said, no way. The first reason, Justin isn't even 21 yet. The second reason, the last time Justin went big in Miami, he was arrested for DUI. The DUI specifically resulted in a ton of bad press for set nightclub where Justin had been partying that night. So the guys at Live, Story, and Adore were just trying to keep their noses clean. According to sources, at least one club offered to let Justin in if he would agree to perform a song since performers don't have to meet the 21 plus age requirement. But Justin wouldn't do it. But no one was particularly upset about it. Justin apparently ended up having a pretty low-key night, so let's hope for more of those. And speaking of Justin Bieber, Snooki says she's learned a valuable lesson from Justin Bieber. If you don't want to be the object of public ridicule, make sure your depositions are not videotaped. According to new documents in her ongoing perfume lawsuit, Snooki has asked that her upcoming deposition not be videotaped. And this is all due to the recent release of Justin's deposition, where he freaked out as soon as the prosecutor mentioned Selena Gomez. A judge will probably make the final decision, but if he wants a cheap laugh, we'll probably let the cameras roll. Andrew Dice Clay is filing for divorce, but not because he doesn't love his wife, it's because he simply doesn't love marriage. Andrew says that despite the fact that he's filing for divorce, he still plans on staying with his wife, Valerie Vasquez, until death do they part. Andrew filed the papers last month, and as he puts it, the word marriage has put a huge strain on their relationship. He says since they've decided to divorce, they've actually been more in love and have more respect for each other than ever before. The couple even celebrated their divorce at a Hollywood restaurant. Andrew and Valerie were married on Valentine's Day back in 2010. They currently have no children together. That's it for today's celebrity.